Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I'm going to show you how to configure time and attendance by using Heat Central Connect and Heat Vision SS Control device. For today, I'm going to use this K1T342 FFX. So let's start now. There are few steps you need to follow to configure the time and attendance by using the Heat Central Connect. So the first step is open your web browser, then go to Heat Central Connect web page. Enter your credential, your password, then click login. It will bring you to the home page of the Heat Central Connect. So next step is to add the device into your account. Go to Device and Maintenance. Go to Device. Select Access Control Device. You can add the device by using the built-in SADP here, or you can click this Add button. Click this Add button. Enter the device serial number, device verification code that you have set earlier, device name, device username, and device password. Select your time zone. Under area information, you can create area by device name or use existing area. Click add to add the device. Now you have successfully add the device into your account. Please make sure the status is online, otherwise you need to troubleshoot it. Next, we need to add a person. Go to person, create a department, for example, technical department, click add. Select the technical department, click add here to add a person. You can use the default ID or you can customize your own ID. Select the department, enter your first name, last name, Select the effective period. Click allow login to self service to use the check in and check out on the mobile apps. Enter your email address. Then click credential management to add your card and fingerprint. To add the card, click configuration here. Select access control and video intercom device. Select access control device. Select the device. Click save. Click add here to add the card. Next, we are going to add the fingerprint. Click configuration. Select access control or video intercom device. Select access control device. Select the device. Click save. Then click add icon here to add the fingerprint. Now you have successfully add the fingerprint. Click save to save the settings. Then click add to add the person. Next, we need to configure the time and attendance settings. Go to Attendance, select Basic Configuration, select General. Under the Weekend Settings, select your weekend, for example, Sunday. Next, go to Overtime Settings. You can set your overtime settings under Normal Shift, Flexible Shift, or Weekend. For this one, I'm going to use under Normal Shift, then Count Late Checkout as Overtime. For the time, for latest checkout time, I set it as 1 minute. Next, go to attendance rule. You can customize the attendance rule based on your preference or you can use the default settings. For this one, I'm just going to use the default setting. Then click save to save the settings. Next, go to check in or check out via mobile client. We need to add a person for check in or check out via mobile client. Click Add button here, select a person, click Add, then click Add button here to add a person. Now we already have this person for check in or check out via mobile client. Next, we are going to set the timetable. Select timetable, click Add to add the timetable. The shift type you can select from normal shift and flexible shift, where for normal shift you need to set the check in time and the check out time. And you can also set the valid check-in and check-out time here. Simply click here, then you can set the valid check-in time and also the valid check-out time here. But for today, I'm going to use the flexible shift. For flexible shift, key in the timetable name. You just need to set the working hours. Normally, we'll use 8 hours or 9 hours. But for today, I'm just going to use it for 5 minutes, for example. 
Then you can set the effective check-in and check-out time period. You can use from 1 a.m. in the morning until uh, 12 a.m. Or you can set based on your preference. Down here, you can enable break time if you need the break time settings. But for this one, I'm going to disable it. Then just click add to add the timetable. If you got more than one timetable, you can select a different color here to distinguish your timetable. Click add to add the timetable. Now you already got the timetable here. So next step, you need to apply this timetable into the person. To apply it, go to schedule, select a person, select a specific day, for example, Monday, select flexible shift, select the timetable which is the visco timetable select repeat here to repeat it across the week for example i'm going to repeat from monday to saturday then select the effective date from here i'm going to select from current date until the end of the year click save then click save to save the settings now we already apply the timetable into the person now that we have done all the settings you can check in and check out by using your mobile apps. Simply open the Hit Central Connect apps on your mobile phone. Then click enter Hit Central Connect. Enter the email address that you have set under the person. Then click next. Enter the password. Then click login. It will bring you to the homepage of the Hit Central Connect apps. For check in and check out, you can select your date for example, today, then you can select check in or check out. For check in and check out, please make sure the location is correct. If not, you can click the location icon here. Once your location is correct, you can do remarks or you can upload picture of your, your location. Then you can click check in or check out. Now you have successfully check in for this location. Once you complete your working hours, you can click again to check out. So click check in or check out again for check out. Check your location. Once the location is correct, you can do remark and upload feature for check out. Then click check in or check out. You have successfully check in or check out. Click OK. Now you have successfully check in and check out for today. Let us check the report on the Hit Central Connect web browser. To view the report, you can go to report here. Then you can check the mobile transaction here. It will show you all the transaction happens in the mobile apps. For the working hours report, you can go to work hours, select the departments, select time period, then click recalculate. Select the time period here. Select all or specify a person, then recalculate. From here, you can see that this person has worked for 2 minutes. You can also get the absent duration, late duration, early leave duration, break duration, leave overtime, workday overtime, and weekend overtime duration. So that is how you configure time and attendance by using Hit Central Connect. Thank you everyone. Visco.